The Unabomber case was a landmark investigation. It spanned nearly two decades. It left a trail of fear across the United States. The case involved a series of meticulously planned bombings. These bombings targeted universities and airlines. This earned the perpetrator the moniker Unabomber. The unknown assailant used sophisticated explosive devices. These devices often contained misleading clues. This made the investigation incredibly challenging. The Unabomber's reign of terror gripped the nation. People were afraid to open packages. They were afraid to work in certain industries. The mystery deepened with each attack. Who was this shadowy figure? What motivated him? The answer would shock the nation. The Unabomber was not a terrorist organization. He was a lone wolf. His name was Theodore John Kaczynski. Kaczynski was a reclusive genius. He was a former mathematics professor. He had a deep hatred for modern technology. He believed it was destroying society. His story is a chilling reminder. It reminds us that even the most brilliant minds can be twisted. This essay delves into the life and crimes of Ted Kaczynski. It explores his transformation from a math prodigy into a domestic terrorist. It analyzes the investigation. It sheds light on the Unabomber case's lasting impact on law enforcement and society. Ted Kaczynski was born in 1942. He was raised in a working-class suburb of Chicago. From a young age he displayed exceptional intelligence. He excelled in academics, particularly mathematics. He skipped several grades. He entered Harvard University at the age of 16. At Harvard, Kaczynski was a loner. He struggled to connect with his peers. He felt out of place. He immersed himself in his studies. He earned his undergraduate degree in mathematics in 1962. He went on to pursue a PhD at the University of Michigan. At Michigan, Kaczynski's genius continued to shine. He impressed professors with his intellect and insights. He specialized in complex mathematical concepts. He earned his doctorate in 1967. He then accepted a teaching position at the University of California, Berkeley. Kaczynski's academic success was short-lived. He abruptly resigned from his position at Berkeley in 1969. He moved to a remote cabin in Montana. He lived a life of self-sufficiency. He had minimal contact with the outside world. Several factors contributed to Kaczynski's withdrawal from society. He was deeply affected by his experiences in a psychological experiment at Harvard. The experiment involved psychological manipulation and stress. This experience left him feeling alienated and distrustful. Kaczynski's time in isolation deepened his anti-technology views. He viewed technology as a force of destruction. He believed it was eroding human freedom and autonomy. He began writing extensively about his beliefs. He developed a radical ideology. He advocated for a return to a primitive way of life. Section 4. Reign of Terror, The Unabomber's Bombing Campaign Kaczynski's radical ideology turned violent in 1978. He embarked on a bombing campaign that would terrorize the nation for 18 years. His first target was a Northwestern University professor. This marked the beginning of a series of meticulously planned attacks. Kaczynski's bombs were sophisticated. They were often disguised as ordinary objects. He targeted individuals he believed were involved in technological advancement. His victims included computer scientists, geneticists, and executives in technology-related industries. The Unabomber's bombings had a profound impact on American society. They created a climate of fear and uncertainty. People were afraid to open packages. Universities and airlines implemented heightened security measures. The FBI launched a massive manhunt to catch the elusive bomber. Section 5. The Hunt for the Unabomber, the FBI's Investigation The FBI's investigation into the Unabomber case was one of the most extensive and complex in its history. The task force assigned to the case faced numerous challenges. They had to piece together clues from scattered bombing scenes. They had to decipher the bomber's motives. They had to develop a profile of an elusive and unknown assailant. The Unabomber was a master of deception. He left few clues at crime scenes. He deliberately misled investigators with false leads. He mailed taunting letters to newspapers and authorities. This added to the complexity of the case. Despite the challenges, the FBI made progress. They developed a profile of the Unabomber. They believed he was highly intelligent, technically skilled, and had a strong understanding of explosives. The profile also suggested he was a loner. He had a deep resentment towards technology and authority.